Howdy folks, this is Max Volume. This is part two of the preface of German experimental aircraft of World War II. This book is about a meeting of the German High Command and the airplane manufacturers back in 1944. Document dated 22 December 1944. A second document, dated Berlin, 22 December 1944, throws more light on the ideas of the German designers and the problems which confronted them. The paper was addressed to the Chief of Technical Air Equipment, Chief TLF, and was issued by the Chief Commission for Aircraft Development, Entwick Lung's Hauptkommission. The following list of special commissions is given. Commission Special Commission for Day Fighters, Messerschmitt, Night Fighters, Tank, Bombers, Hertel, Training Aircraft, Fetcher, Special Aircraft, Lusser, Airframe Construction, Bach, Power Units, Shiloh, Planning and Installation of Equipment, Stussel, Planning and Installation of Armament, Bloom, Number one, single seat fighters. Speeches were made by representatives of various firms. Messerschmitt discussed auto engine and turbojet fighters, or only turbojet fighters. He said that there was complete and unequivocal agreement that in competing with foreign aircraft, only the turbojet fighter could be decisive. It was known, he said, that turbojet fighter development abroad was approximately on the same performance footing as in Germany. And with this in mind, the turbojet fighter should be developed as rapidly as possible with the HES-011 unit. The HE-162, particularly with the BMW-003 unit, must definitely not be regarded as the perfect solution, but only as a stopgap. Mr. Schmidt went on to say that since it was not clear whether the turbojet fighter was adequate for all operational tasks envisaged, by reason of its special characteristics, further developments of fighters with reciprocating engines could not be discontinued. It was accordingly concluded that development of the TA-152 should proceed in order to match the performance of foreign aircraft with internal combustion engines. It was necessary, he said, to arrive at a conclusion as to whether the performance of the TA-152 could be improved to compare with that predicted for new projects with internal combustion engines. Number two, night and bad weather fighters. Kurt Tank said it was agreed that the operational qualities of contemporary German bad weather fighters were not satisfactory. Moreover, the problem of designing aircraft for day fighting without optical vision had not been solved. German night fighters in current use and proposed for the near future were far from adequate for dealing with a mosquito. Night fighter developments of the AR-234 and the DO-335 were only makeshift solutions and did not satisfy the operational demands of longer endurance and adequate facilities for navigation. He concluded that it was necessary to develop as a matter of the greatest urgency, a superlative fighter with endurance of five to eight hours, a crew of three, and satisfactory provision for navigation. Tank mentioned the development of the DO-335 employing a turbojet. Number three, small aircraft with Argus tube. Hertel stated that Junkers proposed a very cheap and simple single-seater with Argus tube power unit 109.014 intended for ground attack operations. The GAF considered the range of 280 to 310 miles and the endurance of 40 to 50 minutes to be completely inadequate, so that the realization of this project was considered as impractical. However, no objection could be taken to the development of this very interesting and economical aircraft for experimental purposes, but with no intention of quantity production. Number four, target defense interceptors. 
Reference was made to the inadequate endurance of the ME-163B, and it was further stated that the Heinkel Julia and Bauckham Natter projects did not hold promise. It was concluded that the development of the 263 should be expedited by all means, and that the tests of the ME-262 with supplementary rocket propulsion should be pursued, as with good results, this aircraft might render all other target defense interceptors superfluous. The development of Julia was to be discontinued because of its inadequate endurance. Work on Wally would also be suspended, and resumption of results would be dependent on results obtained with the ME-163, 263, and 262. Although the Natter project was opposed on technical and tactical grounds, the completion of the development was agreed to because the initial firing tests were due to take place soon. All preparations for serious production, however, were to be discontinued. Reference was made to a proposal by Willie Messerschmidt to attach an additional rocket unit with special external tanks to existing fighters with internal combustion engines and turbojet units. This scheme, it was agreed, should be thoroughly investigated by the firm of Messerschmitt, as positive results would be the simplest solution to the problem of target defense. Number 5. Engines for Future Aircraft Speaking on this subject, Shiloh said that for future projects, in addition to improved DB603 and UMO213 engines, the AS413 was under development. He referred to tandem and other combinations of the DB603 and UMO213. A list of new aircraft actually on at Reschlin, Germany's Edwards Air Force Base, during February of that year, 1946, is given in a third document heading Notes on Reschlin Emergency Testing Program. 6245. ME 262 production aircraft were being subjected to performance checks, and final tests of the UMO 004 jet unit installation. Experiments were also in progress with a parachute tail brake, drop tanks, and a new subtype. The AR 234B was undergoing consumption tests and RT installation trials. The subtype C was doing its prototype trials. Prototype trials were also in progress on the TA-152H and the TA-152C, while the FW-190 was undergoing performance tests with MW-50 and with certain aerodynamic improvements incorporated by Falkowulf. Production of ME-109s were still being tested and prototype trials of Jagerstirum FUG-125 were in progress. The HE-162 was doing its prototype trials, and the DO-335 was finishing RT and engine tests. Some work on pre-spinning of the undercarriage wheels was also in progress. Finally, prototype trials of the JU-388 with UMO-213E engines were at hand. The present tense has been used for convenience in the following contents. However, this does not mean that an aircraft is in existence or that one was ever built. <laughs>